Adam Friedman, Rivals.com, National Recruiting Analyst and Rankings Director, here with one of the very best players in the entire country, regardless of class, five-star 2025 offensive tackle, David Sanders Jr. Just finished up his uh, his junior season with another state championship, third in a row. Congratulations, David. Yes, sir. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Uh, uh, you've gone through a lot this season. We know that you you were a little dinged up throughout the year, too. I mean, it's right. obviously a really tough way to end the season with an injury, but, you know, it must have been a huge payoff there with another yes, chance. Sir. Right? Yes, sir. Good stuff. Um, what were some of the things that you really worked on this season that uh, maybe last year you weren't as refined in? Right. Uh, so this year, a big thing for me was just being a leader for my team, uh, being able to dominate both sides of the ball for 48 minutes. That was a big thing for me. Uh, really working on my fundamental skills because everybody knows I can pancake the guy in front of me or get to the next level and pancake him too. So uh, the main thing for me was just understanding like more of the football terms of everything, like knowing your assignment, know your job, do your job, because uh, for the next level, that's what you're going to have to be able to do. So um, that was a big thing for me uh, this year. And I think I did a great job with it, uh, although I was dealing with my injury, I was still able to uh, go out and perform at a high level. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, let's move on to the fun stuff here. David, you were just at Tennessee for the Georgia game uh, this past weekend. A crazy environment. The game really started off with a bang there. Um, you know, this isn't the first time you're up at Tennessee either. So what was that experience like returning to Knoxville? Uh, this this Tennessee visit was really good. Um, that was my first game day visit there. Uh, so the atmosphere was insane. Probably one of the top atmospheres I've ever been a part of. Uh, just their overall crowd. I mean, from the beginning of the game to the end of the game, they were they were just very loud and, and screaming and things like that. So it was pretty cool to just see that in person. Uh, but obviously, I love Tennessee's program. Their coaching staff is amazing, all the way from Coach Hypo all the way down. Uh, the list. So um, they're building a good thing there at Tennessee, and I just want to be a part of it. And um, they're doing a great job recruiting me as well. So, yeah, I was going to ask you there about just your relationship with the staff. What are some of the right. things they're telling you, and just how comfortable are you with with what they're telling you? Uh, definitely, uh, that they're definitely one of the better coaching staffs recruiting me as of right now. They do a, a great job as a whole, not just one individual coach calling me. I mean, it's the whole coaching staff every time, every time we talk. So that's a pretty cool experience for me. Um, coach Hypo is, is one, one of those guys that you can really vibe with, uh, not only when you talk about football, but his life in general. So uh, I really uh, like talking to him. Uh, coach LRB, I bond with him pretty well. He has a very calm spirit. So uh, sometimes when I'm talking to him, it's like he's super calm. I don't know how He's the college football coach, but uh, he's a pretty cool guy, and I like talking to him as well. Um, all, all five of the um, assistant offensive line coaches are amazing as well. So I think I have a great relationship with everybody, and I feel very comfortable going to Tennessee multiple times now. Uh, it's just getting more comfortable at each and every time I go. Sounds good. Sounds good. Now, before that, you were over at Florida State. And, David, you know, the Knowles are a team that I know have been on you for, for some time. Um, what What's really intriguing to you about Florida State and the direction of that program? Uh, definitely. Florida State has a unique way of recruiting. They don't really overwhelm you with uh, too many calls or FaceTimes in Texas. So uh, sometimes you kind of lose sight of them. But when you when you get to visit, you definitely feel that that energy and love from from everybody, just like Tennessee from Coach Norvell down. I mean, he's if you ever met him, he's a ball of energy and just a great guy to be around. So that's somebody you uh, really enjoy talking to and being around for the weekend. So um, I love Coach Atkins and the way he coaches and bonds with his players. It's amazing. Uh, when I was at Florida State, I got to spend the whole weekend there. So I got to sit throughout team meetings, offensive line meetings, and like offense of meetings in a whole. So it was just uh, pretty cool to see them interact with not only me, like in the recruiting aspect but them interacting with their players just to see how they respond to him uh, which was pretty cool so mm -hmm. yes sir you feel pretty comfortable in that environment i know it's not too far from home but um you know it is certainly different than charlotte area yeah, definitely florida florida has a different vibe than north carolina i mean it's a whole 360 but i feel like they have players from all over so if you get there really get to uh you know work hard with the players they'll bond with you so i like i like my weekend there and everybody seemed to um like me as well Sounds good. Okay. Then but the weekend before that, you made the short trip down to Columbia to see South Carolina. Um, you know, I think other than I think that might be the closest school to you, uh, you know, in just driving time, really. But when when you were in on campus there for the game, uh, I think it was the Jacksonville State game, I believe. Yes, what was that experience like seeing how everything played out on the field and then talking with the coaches also? 
No doubt. I mean, uh, South Carolina, you know, they're not taking the backseat to anybody. And like you said, they're the closest school to uh, where I live. It's only an hour and a half drive, and it's pretty much just a straight shot. So if I want to go there by myself, I can do it. Now that I'm driving, I can do it by myself now. So uh, that's a pretty cool feature for me uh, to know if I was to pick South Carolina that I could see my family, you know, each and every day if they wanted to, but certainly every weekend. So everybody knows how tight knit I am with my family. So that would be awesome for us. Uh, but as far as South Carolina's program, uh, they do an amazing job recruiting me as well. Uh, when I went down there this time, they had the whole at Cotton Gin. They like, we won David Sanders, uh, that poster hanging up. So that's a pretty cool experience every time I go. I mean, just to know that a program, and it's not only just the football, but the whole city wants you as well. That's that's pretty cool. Um, but Coach Coach Beamer is one of those coaches. He's young. You know, he's very knowledgeable within the game. And he's he's building a young class to be able to dominate the SEC, hopefully, in a couple years. So um, those are one of those places I feel like you can go in and really contribute that as a, as a true freshman walk in and compete for a starting job. So uh, South Carolina is definitely very high on my list just because of uh, that that aspect right there. But uh, Coach Coach Teasley is amazing. Coach Atkins, even though he's not specifically the offensive line coach anymore, he still helps around and is just around. But their, their program and their staff is just an amazing um, thing to be a part of. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the opportunity that you see there. They are playing a lot of freshmen this year, yeah. whether it's by choice or by necessity. They've had a lot yeah. of injuries this year. Um, when you see the ability to develop at an early, early stage there, how, how big of a factor is that going to be in your recruitment? Uh, that's that's a major factor because, you know, you want to go in and not only just – Sit, sit behind three or four guys. You want to go in there and be able to honestly compete for a job and hopefully start on, on Saturday afternoon. So uh, just to know that they're able to get guys in in that early, now that guys are early enrolling, really be able to develop their bodies to be able to compete not only in college football, but in the SEC. You know, they're competing against guys that go to Georgia, Alabama, Vanderbilt. I mean, week after week, they're going against top-level guys. And, you know, they're, they're doing good. One-on-one -on -one battles with first-rounders. I mean, they don't look like they're having a problem them as freshmen so uh, obviously that means not only coming from coaching but just their uh the culture within the program and that goes to show in the future they'll have you know a very dominant offensive line but a team in general right that's right okay sounds good now uh before south carolina before south carolina you were up at north carolina for a visit there You've been to Chapel Hill, I don't know how many times now. Um, you've got a, a teammate, Jordan Ship, who's actively recruiting you uh, to come up there with him. What are, what's the latest between you and UNC? Uh, definitely. I mean, UNC is my home school. Uh, obviously, me, me living in North Carolina, you know, they're definitely not taking the backseat to anybody. Uh, so I love Coach Coach Brown. He's, he's, he's one of those guys that you can just sit in a room and talk to for hours and, you know, not think twice about the time. So I enjoy my time going up there with them. Um, the new offensive line coach, Coach Clemens, he does an amazing job with just reaching out to me, not only uh, with football recruiting, but just asking me how school is going, uh, my family and things like that. So uh, USC is doing a great job as well. Well, just knowing that I wanted, always wanted. And I feel like I've been there so many times that a lot of people forget that I go to UNC just because I've been there a lot, especially when I was younger. So, But they're one of those schools you really can't forget about just because of how close it is and mm -hmm. it being so close to home. Yeah, I mean, you're up there so many times, it's almost not really news when you make the trip. Right, exactly. Yeah. Um, when you look at, you know, let me take you back here about, I guess earlier this week, maybe late last week, there was rumors about maybe this might be the last year for Coach Brown. It's it's not. They came out, said quickly that it's not going to be his last year. He's going to be back next year. How big of a role in your recruitment would that play if uh, Coach Brown were not to be there? Uh maybe a little bit just because he's really a uh, driving factor of just the culture within the UNC program. But I feel like what he's building and the coaches he has around within the staff are going to be able to take that program to the next level. And honestly, I won't spend as much time as people think with the head coach. So I'm going to be with the strength conditioning coach and coach Clemens a lot of time. So the biggest thing is building relationships with those guys. And then, you know, if coach Brown leaves, I mean, they're still going to be one of my favorite schools either way, but obviously that'll play a big, role, but I don't think that would be a deciding factor for me. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Now, um, these first, these next three schools, you were there earlier this season, Alabama, Clemson, and Georgia. You've been to all of those schools at least once now, I believe. Um, these were game day visits though, right? Yeah. So what really stood out to you about returning to these schools and seeing what game day is like there? Uh, definitely. So this is, I've been to games to all those schools before, been visits to all those schools before. So um, it was probably nothing I've never experienced before, uh, but it was definitely 
different this year. Uh, this year's recruiting going to well being in my junior year was a lot different from my sophomore year. I mean, just because they're kind of moving on from that 24 class and really honing in and focusing on the 25 class. Uh, so it goes to show that like at a lot of schools, I'm their number one priority. And, you know, they really need me to, to, to break in that 25 class and get other guys to, to follow. So I mean, it's just a pretty cool experience to be in that position, uh, to have that much, um, you know, leverage, I guess you would say. Uh, but at Georgia, Alabama, and Clemson, great environments, great games that I attended. And, you know, I love each and every one of those coaching staff. So, and they're all doing a great job recruiting me as well. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, do you feel like the, the pressure is kind of turned up a little bit on these trips now that you've, you're one of the, the older guys, um, you know, not obviously not a 24 guy, but one of the older guys. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say pressure. Uh, but it's definitely it's definitely turned up a little bit. You can definitely see, you know, they're moving on to that 25 class and really honing in on who they're trying to get. So it's pretty it's pretty cool to see. Cool. OK, so moving forward, you know, you had you were thinking about a trip to Michigan for this coming weekend. That's not happening now. You're going to be at home enjoying Thanksgiving weekend, watching all the games. I'm sure you'll be watching the Michigan game. Yes, sir. Uh, like everybody else in the country will be, too. Um, what are you looking for out of Michigan? Um, you know, they're they're one of the schools that you're really interested interested in you've got two teammates and an offensive line coach at your school who um you know michigan guys uh, two Jaden davis and goodwin and, and goodwin's dad uh a michigan alum so when you think about the wolverines what are you paying attention to there uh definitely i want to see how they do with this new 24 class coming in they have a big offensive line class i think three or four guys coming in, maybe five. But uh, I just want to see how they do when they early enroll that spring, watching them throughout the spring game, you know, how are they develop in those young guys? Because that's really the main thing. You can't really judge a program off of who's already there in their junior, senior year, because when I get there, those guys are going to be long gone and not thinking about me. So you want to you want to really look at that freshman class that's already there and then the incoming freshmen and how that they're liking it, how they're developing, and how they feel like they're being coached. So um, I have good relationships with a lot of the 24 recruits uh, that are going all over the place in, in the country. So just being able to talk to those guys and get feedback on how they like the coach and then just the program in general to, um, to be able to weigh in on my decision. Sounds good. Now, Michigan, you know, you've got a lot of interest in them. They're one of your top schools. Ohio State, also one of your one of your, your top schools. So when you think about the Buckeyes and the way that they've developed on the field this year and your relationships with the staff there, what are you, what are you paying attention to with Ohio State? Uh, definitely. Well, uh, Ohio State is always known for having amazing tackles, you know, protecting that, that quarterback. So uh, Coach Fry does a great job with developing guys. Uh, so uh, Ohio State is definitely one of my favorite schools for sure, but they have the twins coming in. So I look forward to seeing those guys really develop and become starters for Ohio State soon. Sounds good. OK, so we've got the end of the season right here. We've got championship games and then right. we've got we've got the stretch run to early signing day for 24. But there are going to be some weekends where there are big visit weekends between now and the end of this year. Are you planning on taking some some additional visits before the end of the year? I'm sure there's going to be some in January, too. Mm -hmm. Um, um, as of right now, there's nothing planned, but um, I'm sure there'll, there's something going to pop up. I think as of right now, I kind of just want to chill and just en enjoy my family and kind of reflect on our, our three-peat state championship. Okay, sounds good. All right, two more questions. One serious, one fun, okay? Okay, sounds good. Georgia has been one of those schools that people kind of say maybe has an edge. Right. How much truth is there to that? Uh, I think there's a little, maybe a little bit of truth there. Uh, obviously, Georgia back-to-back -back national champs. Uh, coach Searles, obviously a lot of people know I've known him since I was in, in middle school. He was a coach at UNC, so I have a different type of relationship with him uh, than most coaches. Uh, and then Coach Smart is one of those guys that you just, you know, you love hanging around, not only just the football aspect, but just him as a person. Uh, I mean, he talks to my little sisters on the recruiting visit more than he talks to me. I'm like, Coach, are you recruiting <laughs> me or them? So it's kind of it's kind of cool to see him interact with not only me, but my family. And, uh, you know, we can walk around Georgia now without the name tags and without, and they could be walking around without me. And I think every coach on the staff would know who they are and their names, what they're doing in life. So just little things like that stick out to me the most. But Georgia, obviously, um, is a great program with great coaches. And I just love being around, around that program for sure. Okay, cool. All right. Thanksgiving question. We got it coming up on Thursday here. What's on that first plate? You, I know there's seconds. You go up for seconds. But what's on that very first plate for Thanksgiving? I feel, I feel like it's everything. You know, turkey, yams, macaroni and cheese, the greens, dressing, ham, uh, cranberry sauce. It's going to be a lot. Cornbread, 
the, <laughs> the Hawaii. It's gonna be a tall plate. It's gonna be a tall yeah, plate. Oh, it's gonna be huge. So are I'm you in. are you a stuffing guy or are you a dressing guy? Uh, I think dressing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Agree yeah. to disagree there. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Five-star offensive tackle, David Sanders, one of the best players in the country. Thanks so much for your time. Enjoy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the big games this weekend, and we'll be talking to you soon. Yes, sir. I appreciate your time as well. Thank you. Thanks.